Hello everyone, today I have a super fast tutorial for you how to set up vertex painting with a layered material. Let's get into it. Now, quick disclaimer, vertex painting does not work with nanite. So just to keep that in mind when you're using vertex painting. There's gonna be a super fast tutorial. So you just make a new material, of course, for your base as always. And you make your material layer and material layer blend. In your main material, you open that up, set it to be use material attributes and grab material attribute layers. You plug that in, hit save, that's all you need for here. For the material layer, this is where you put in all your information. For the demo, all I'm gonna do is expose a material base color and I'm gonna get a texture sample parameter. Nice and easy, call it base color, plug it in, and we'll just use the default texture as the base. So that's all we really need for this because the main thing is the material layer blend, which is also very simple. So in here, we're gonna give it a simple parameter, static switch parameter, and we're just call it vertex paint. So that way we can turn on vertex paint on and off. I'm gonna give it a group called controls, and we're gonna put controls maybe right on top and make sure it's on top. We're gonna give it a super priority of 10. Then holding S and left clicking, get a scalar parameter, and this is just gonna be our layer opacity. So this is where we can control just the overall opacity of the layer if we're not using vertex paint. Of course, here you can always chain in more things if you wanna blend things together. But for the vertex paint itself, it really is as simple as getting vertex color, which is where you have all your vertex information. I believe this is RGB only, so we append the alpha channel, and then we do a channel mask parameter. So that way we can say which channel do we wanna use for it. So we're gonna call it vertex color channel, and we're gonna put it in a group called vertex color. And then it's as simple as plugging it in. Of course here, right here, is where you put any kind of controls you'd want. Maybe contrast, offsets, any kind of smoothing, whatever you wanna do in terms of modifying the actual paint, you put it here. But this is all we need. And now let's try it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a simple sphere. I'm gonna grab our base and create a material instance of it and apply it to our material. And then we're gonna open it up and plug in our material layer in here. And I'm gonna make a few more layers and I'm gonna just plug in our material layers and material layer blends. And I'm gonna just grab some base textures that I have got on Megascans and just populate them for each of the layers so we can see the actual difference between them. And finally, the way we control what goes where is we just set the blend assets under controls. We enable vertex color. And under vertex color, we say the channel. So for example, this will be the red channel. Under this one, we can say this is gonna be the green channel, and this will be the blue channel. You can of course do alpha as well, or if you don't wanna use vertex paint, right? if you turn that off, you have your layer opacity. So we of course see everything right now on the sphere. We just go under mesh paint. Under paint, I'm gonna swap this to be main as the black, and I'm just gonna go with everything selected. I'm going to fill it all with black. And so we see the base underlying layer, the background. And now I can go ahead and paint with the red channel by swapping these around, making it white. And now I can just go ahead and paint with my red channel. And I can want, I could paint with my green. It's a little bit larger, increase the strength. And same thing with the blue. And just like that, you can use vertex paint to blend your different uh, layers any way you want based on your object. As a reminder, vertex paint does not work on nanite. And of course you cannot, if I paint something in blue because it's a layered setup and then I go to red, it is technically painting it in red, but because the blue layer in my case is on top of the red, I would need to remove the blue by holding shift and then I can see the red channel below. That is as simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other suggestions of tutorials you wanna see for a layered setup or otherwise, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, bye.